What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. What are we doing today? Just getting out my golf clubs. Your clubs? Yeah. You sold the clubs to us. You didn't pawn them. I did not sell my clubs. I know I what I know. did. I know that you probably. Where you are they? Are they, here? are they here? Are they here? If you would have looked at the receipt that was given to you. I don't care because of the lecture. I did not pawn my club. I don't have them. That's not you possible. Sold the here's, here's the record. Sir, yes. it would be very amazing if you get off your ass and have your thugs look for them. Okay, let me let me make this perfectly honest. Let me let make me, it perfectly clear. Well, you're profiting a lot from people who are less fortunate with an education than me. This is a very sad commentary. Very Anyone good. down on the luck, you make big fat money off of in your Jewish ways. Today, we'll show you the moments when toxic Karens came on Hardcore Pawn. Invisible phone. While perusing the watch selection, a woman suddenly realized her phone was missing and promptly accused another shopper of stealing it. Karen calmly explained that there was no phone on display and suggested checking elsewhere. The situation got worse, leading Karen to ask both customers to leave. It's pretty. Is there something you need help with? No, I'm just browsing. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, how you doing today? I'm good today. I want to find something nice for my son. Anything catches your eye that you want me to pull out? I was kind of looking at some of these watches. Okay. Where the hell is my f phone? Something wrong? Yeah, my phone. I just let my f Did you take my phone? Take your phone. There was never a phone on the showcase. <laughs> Crazy crazy yeah, I just made my phone. Yeah. Don't touch me, yo. yo. You better yo, get on it. Don't touch me. Get the manager. You hold it. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. There was no phone. 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 There was no you have got to get out. The argument continued outside the store with accusations and insults exchanged. Eventually, the frustrated woman left the store. Though it was a tough situation, Karen did her best to resolve the issue and keep order in the store. But unfortunately, it ended with the lady leaving upset. Yo, my <laughs> yo, y'all better get this lady because I ain't got yo, nothing, please, yo. Listen, 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 listen. Crazy. I'm out of here, yo. These ladies need to finish their business outside. Nobody don't got time for this, yo. Get this old ass lady. You better get my mother phone. You better your damn business. Ma'am, go check your car. Quit beating up on that girl. Hey, what's your problem? Oh, oh my for God. heaven's sake. Yo, gangster years is over with, baby. Calm down. You ain't gonna need that cane. Go ahead, put the cane down. Chill out. Thanks, gangster, calm man. down. What you calm you down? You ain't that bad. Oh, no, I am. I'm bad enough to hold you, man. Calm no, down. You, ain't. you let that little hooker walk away with my phone? She didn't walk away with nothing. She just walked. Yeah, all right. Man, don't hurt nobody. And watch how you use that cane. Shut the hell up. You got grandkids. Granddad. Have a nice day. Video games. The lady came into the store wanting to pawn her ex-boyfriend's video game, but he wasn't present. Les asked if she had permission to sell the game, given that it belonged to her ex. The woman argued that she had the right to do what she wanted with it, but Les explained that accepting potentially stolen items could endanger the store. Can I help you? Yeah. Um. I wanted to pawn my ex-boyfriend's game. You know, okay. Like this is his game or your game? This is his game. It's his game. You're not with him any longer? No. So the, my question is, did he give you permission to keep it? He left it at my house, so that's the only permission I need. Well, that's not the only permission that I need. If it belonged to him, I can't take it. Why? But why? Right, Because why? it belongs to him. And what if he comes back to your house, knocks on the door and says, where's my unit? And I'm right. telling him it's that America Pawn and Jewelers. Well, the problem with that is that it's stolen. However, she insisted on pawning the game, disregarding the legal risks. But Les firmly held his position, emphasizing the store's commitment to obeying the law and avoiding any involvement with stolen goods. Despite her persistence, the woman eventually realized she couldn't bend the rules and left the store feeling frustrated. I mean, but what the f really can I do with a game? I understand. So you really mean to tell me I can't do f with this? You can give me something for it. I could, if it was yours. Well, I'm not going nowhere. You know, sometimes people come in and act like a fool. Might as well get comfortable. She expects me to take a game that could possibly be stolen. I wouldn't jeopardize the store. I wouldn't jeopardize us. If it doesn't belong to you, don't bring it to American Jewelry, period. 
the law says if it's stolen or if it doesn't belong to you, I'm not allowed to take it. It's not stolen. He left it in my house. I can appreciate that, but I can't do anything for you. I'm terribly sorry. I'm you ain't sorry, sorry about He was just basically saying that I pretty much stole it. it. Right. He could say that, and then you could go to jail. I'm not going to mother jail. No, I'm not saying that you're going to go to jail, but I'm just saying that's the option that he could take. I can't get nothing. Exactly right. Deuces. That's all right. Thank you. Have a nice day. Your mama. Woman insulting Wes. In the dramatic world of hardcore pawn, tension escalated when a loud and upset woman stormed into the store, directing her frustration at a staff member. Les intervened with kindness, trying to understand the cause of her distress. Despite Les's best efforts, the situation took an unexpected turn. The enraged woman turned her fury towards Les, passionately bringing up her religious beliefs in an attempt to justify her behavior. What are we doing today? Just getting out my golf clubs. Your clubs? Yeah. You sold the clubs to us, you didn't pawn them. I did not sell my clubs. I know I what I know. did. I know that you probably. Where if you are they? Are they, here? Receipt, are they here? If you would have looked at the receipt, I don't that was care given to hear the to lecture. You? I did not pawn my club. I don't have them. That's not you possible. Sold them. Why would I be talking about this if I sold them? I don't know. You did not know what you were doing. I yes. clearly have a clear head. I've been sober a lot longer than you're today. If you passed your drug test, I don't think so, honey bunch. Really? Really? Because you. How about we look me, on the record? You're the one that looks like. Uh, I never I'm sorry. sold my golf okay, club. So here's 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 the record, sir. Yeah. It would be very amazing if you get off your ass and have your thugs look for them. Okay, let me let me make this perfectly honest. Uh, let me let make me, it perfectly clear. Well, you're profiting a lot from people who are less fortunate with an education than me. This is a very sad commentary. Very Anyone good. down on the lock, you make big fat money off of in your Jewish ways. Les was taken aback by the sudden shift, momentarily breaking his usual calm demeanor. As security guided the upset customer out, Les watched the aftermath of a challenging encounter with a distressed individual at Hardcore Pond. What did she just say? Here's the deal. F you! Get your out of here! Get the out of here! Get the out of here! Don't talk about my religion, you bitch! Get your hands off of me. Go outside. Get your hands off of me. Get your damn mother hands off of me. Felix, let her go. Oh, did it hurt you? Oh, it looked crazy. Yeah, because I'm like strong. Get the out. What the are you thinking? Don't talk about religion. Don't insult me with race. This bitch had to go. Ma'am, go yourself. Dude, man, you know who bread your butter? Or butters your bread? Fake teeth. In a funny incident, a woman confronted Seth and Les, accusing them of mishandling her belongings. Tensions rose until the situation took a surprising turn when the woman pulled her fake teeth out, leaving everyone astonished and amused. Amid laughter, Les calmly suggested she go to the window and provide her pawn ticket for assistance. Hey, you! Your security? I don't give a Why am I out here on the floor? It's supposed to be in the back! What brand is your TV? That right there. Can I Hit see it. Your yeah, see him. If it's in pawn, it's in the back. If it's for sale, it's in the front. Why is my out here on the floor? Why is that a different brand? Because it's a different brand. That's bull. Hold on. Let me get this straight. She pulls out her teeth. It was gross. Oh, so what you tell me? I ain't my right. right. So you tell me I'm wrong? Yes. So what you want? An apology? Sure. No. Why not? Okay, he said no, you say yes. So So apologize to him and you don't have to apologize to me. No, neither. It's a group deal. Nine spots out nobody off. I can't understand. Let's give my right now, Mr. American Loan. And jewelry. I should have put that in my panties and walked out. Okay, why don't you go back to the Why don't you go in the line over there and they'll take care of you? How does that? Okay, let me get back on and tell Put your me. teeth back in. Oh man, that's beautiful. Oh my God. The woman's odd behavior continued with nonsensical statements. Eventually, she got her items, ending the humorous and peculiar encounter. This humorous moment revealed how pawn shop staff deal with unique customers. 
showcasing the unexpected encounters they face while maintaining a lighthearted approach. That ain't fake, that's real money. Wish the teeth were real. This woman was out of her mind. Go to the window, give your pawn ticket. I'll be more than happy to bring out your merchandise. How you gonna fit my TV through this window? What? How you gonna fit my TV and my DVD player through this window while I'm standing here? Why don't you finish with her so she She's finished. They're just going to get it. Get my and I'll be out your store, ma'am. Come on, Ronnie. Get her Ronnie, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day. Well, go get my there we go. Where did that come? Are you? All right. Ready? Tell Hook to yeah. take care of you. Who is Hook? I'm on Hook right now. Where the f is Hook? Hey, Hook. He gone. Hook. That's your ass. Stop playing. Outside. OK, thank y'all very much. May the birds of paradise fly up your nose. And that's that. This is where we'll end our video. We hope you enjoyed watching it. Make sure to comment and hit that like and subscribe button too. Hit that notification bell for more videos like this. Share this video to your family and friends. See you soon.